Hi, I'm Gidhi Tikari and I'm a makeup artist. And in today's look, I'm going to teach you how to achieve the perfect smoky eye with a little bit of color. Because we all know what a black smoky eye looks like. So for this season, I'm going to mix my smoky black eyeshadow with a little bit of purple. So for the base color, I'm going to be using my gel liner. This one's from Bobbi Brown. I love the Bobbi Brown gel liners as well as the Maybelline. They work really well with this kind of a look. So I'm going to use my small eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to apply my gel liner right on the top of the lids. Close your eyes. So once you've got your eyeliner in a semicircle on the lid, just blend it really quickly. So I'm just blending out the edges so there's no ugly line of the base color. So the brush which I'm using is the Big Smudger eyeshadow brush and these are all part of my brushes and these are part of my range of brushes. So the trick to blending this is actually blending it before it dries. So once it dries, it's self-setting and it's waterproof. So it's really difficult then to merge the second color in with it if it's not blended properly. Okay, so that's my base color. And I love to use a gel liner as a base color because when you're using black eyeshadows what happens is there's a lot of fallout and what happens is you get a lot more product underneath the eye than on top of the eyelid so when you can use a paint pot or a gel liner do use it because it's strong in color and it's water resistant if not waterproof quickly blend it with a big smudger brush Blend the edges so you don't get an ugly line on the eyelid. This just makes it really easy to blend in the second color. I'm just using a little bit of translucent powder underneath the eyes just to help with the fallout so if there's any fallout it'll just enable me just to brush it aside a lot more easier now I'm going to use my second color and this one's from makeup studio and it's a beautiful purple color it's called violet vanity just gonna use a slight amount of this right on my flat small filbert brush which is one of my favorites and I'm gonna use it right on the edge of the crease line so once I've applied it I'll have to quickly blend it so it doesn't just form a line so with my medium eyeshadow brush I'm just going to break it up in a circular motion. I'm going to use the same product and the same brush underneath the eyelash. And I don't mind using it on a larger area because close up near the lash line or close to the lash line. And I don't mind spreading this color out away from the lash line because closer to the lash line, I'll be using the black. using it right underneath the lash line and I'm just blending the edges with the same brush before it completely dries out as you can see that beautiful violet color is showing through 
And the best thing about all the products which I'm using is it's completely waterproof. So even if your client ends up sweating or swimming or crying, it's gonna be right in place. Now I'm just gonna take away the fallout. I'm still leaving a little bit of the powder underneath the eyes because I'm gonna use a little bit of eyeshadow on top of my paint pot. For more videos on beauty and makeup, log on to onlymyhealth.com.